Hello there. Today we are going to talk about something really important, how animals reproduce. First of all, what is reproduction? Reproduction is the process by which living things produce more of their kind and have kids. As you know, all living beings die after getting old but to continue life and their families, living beings do reproduction and have kids. Now, there are two main ways animals reproduce. Some animals lay eggs, we call these oviparous animals. Others give birth to live babies, these are called viviparous animals. Let's start by looking at oviparous animals. Oviparous animals are those that lay eggs. Can you think of some examples? That's right, birds, snakes, fish, all lay eggs. When these eggs hatch, baby animals come out. Isn't that cool? We can group oviparous animals into three types based on where they live. There are aerial oviparous animals that fly in the air, terrestrial oviparous animals that live on land, and aquatic oviparous animals that live in water. Let's look at each type. First, let's talk about aerial oviparous animals. The main example here is birds. All birds reproduce by laying eggs. Now, let's look inside a bird's egg. It has three main parts. The outer part is a thin, hard shell that protects the baby inside. Under that is a white jelly-like substance called albumin, which is full of protein. And in the center is a yellow part called the yolk. All these parts help the baby bird grow. Here's something fun, the life cycle of a chicken. It starts as an egg, then the egg hatches into a baby chick. The chick grows into an adult chicken, which then lays more eggs. And the cycle continues. Moving on to terrestrial oviparous animals, let's talk about insects. All insects reproduce by laying eggs. For example, a butterfly lays its eggs on leaves. When these eggs hatch, they turn into caterpillars or larvae. Insects go through an amazing process called metamorphosis. This is when they change from their young form to their adult form. For a butterfly, it goes from an egg to a caterpillar, then to a chrysalis, and finally emerges as an adult butterfly. Now let's dive into aquatic oviparous animals. These are animals that live in water, like fish and frogs. They lay their eggs in water too. Did you know that fish lay thousands of eggs at one time? That's a lot of eggs. When these eggs hatch, very small baby fish come out. These tiny fish are called fries. Now, let's talk about viviparous animals. These are animals that give birth to live babies instead of laying eggs. Examples include cows, cats and dogs. These animals feed their babies with milk, so we call them mammals. Humans are mammals too. In viviparous animals, the baby grows inside the mother's body for several weeks. When the baby is born, the mother feeds it with her own milk and takes care of it. Mammal mothers also protect their babies from danger and hunt for food for them. That's a lot of work. Here are some more examples of viviparous animals. We have bears, dolphins, rhinoceroses, and kangaroos. Isn't it amazing how different these animals look, but they all give birth to live babies? That's all for today. We've learned so much about how animals reproduce. Remember, whether animals lay eggs or give birth to live babies, each method helps ensure that life continues.